What's up everyone, this is Blacksmith here for the fucking 100th time, I mean, sorry about that, but um, yeah, I've done this commentary about a couple of times right now, because something always seems to happen, I mean, my phone rang a couple of times, and then someone walks into the room, and then sometimes I'll just like blank out <laughs> halfway through it, and I just forget what I'm saying, but um, hopefully this time I will not mess up, so yeah, so today guys I'm playing some um, Grand War Domination on uh, Rundown, now this isn't one of my favorite maps at all. Uh, I don't dislike it either. So it can be a good map and it can't be sometimes. Now I'll tell you why I uh, dislike this map a little bit. Now if you're spawning at sea, if you start the game at sea, it can be a real issue to capture the sea flag. Now uh, the reason why is because the sea flag sometimes, well if you the, if your enemies obviously are spawning at A, they there's a kind of this fixed position like if you if you're standing straight up facing the sky and like, l if you line up the sea flag icon correctly, you can uh, noob troop straight into the air, and then therefore it will land. Uh, the grenade launcher will land. Will land. Sorry, will hit um, the sea flag directly and straight in the middle, and that will prevent you from capturing the flag. And if you do attempt to capture it, you will fucking uh, die, bitch. Uh, which can be really annoying and frustrating. And here's the, here's the reason why it can also be really. It can lead to a big, even uh, an even bigger problem. Because if you don't capture, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but if you don't capture any flag at all, and your enemies reach up to, reach up to 50 points, you'll automatically be disqualified. They're like, they'll just win the game straight away. It won't go up to 200 at all. So, um, yeah, that can be um, really annoying, I guess. Uh, well, it is, yeah. So, uh, I've always hated fucking new tubers, to be honest. Um, it, it really ruins the game. I remember when Model for 2 came out. Oh, and before you know, before the, uh, anyone knew about the whole noob tube and um, one man army, because the truth is, no one really heard about the whole, uh, you know, one. You know that because there was one man army, but no one really knew the whole combination. So you used the one man army with I don't know the danger close and the, you know, the grenade launcher. No one really knew that whole combination. So until I guess maybe late January, February, yeah, something like that. So a, g a good couple of months before anyone heard of it, and uh, it was great fun before, before all the, the new tubing and stuff. Um, it can still be fun sometimes, but it's really hard to not get new tubes and stuff. Like to be honest, I think eight out of ten of my kills are from explosions. So like whether it's well, most of most of them are new tubers. I die from so many new tubers, guys. It's so annoying because. I feel like they're so fucking lazy. I mean, are you that lazy to just take out your machine gun or whatever you're using and just at least try? Like, I want you guys to at least try and attempt. You know, to like go ahead, try first and get a couple of kills. If you can't, and you think, oh, that's it, then yeah, then at least you know take out your grenade launcher. But it's so fucked up and it's so annoying. But um, yeah, there's so much stuff I used to do with Modern Warfare 2 that I don't used to be doing that I don't do anymore in Black Ops. So like for instance, uh, I used to snipe a lot. Way I used to snipe a lot, and I mean a lot. Um, yeah, I used to love sniping. Uh, another thing I used to do in um, Modern Warfare 2 was search and destroy. I used to play search and destroy a lot as well. Oh yeah, guys, uh, very quickly, my kill streaks are five, seven, and eleven, and that would be the Predator missile, the Harry strikes, and the AC-130. Um, the AC-130 is definitely a really cool uh, kill streak to have, guys. Me personally, I think if you can master it. But the th oh yeah, the thing is, my first AC-130 I get here is uh, I don't really pl play that well with it, and I'll explain why. But I do destroy the Harry Strike, right? <laughs> can I get a like for that, please? <laughs> um, but yeah, um, here's a tip for you guys, which hopefully you'll learn from my mistake. You don't, you don't want to take out uh, any kind of big kill streak, so only those like AC-130s or chopper gunners or gunships. Never take them out unle uh, unless you've captured both flags. This is obviously I'm talking about domination here. So uh, the, here's the reason why: because right now I've got see, it, see from what you can see from above, like the third eye view, or whatever. Um, uh, we only had a cap we only had C flag, and therefore they had you know obviously A and B. And the enemies are always spawn to the nearest flag, and then if they've got two flags, then therefore they're going to be you know spread it spread it out you know around the whole map. But um, if so, what you need to do? Make sure you've got C and B or A and B. The B is always the, like the main flag you need to have. Never have A and C because then it'll it's, it's fucked up. So you need yeah. So make sure you have like two flags A and B or C and B, and therefore 
then their nearest flags will, will only be, you know, the A, because it's the only one they've got, and therefore they'll all spawn together, and then it'll make it easier for you to get kills, and, um, you know, yeah, so that's it really, so uh, hopefully you guys have learned from my mistake, and yeah, don't go ahead and do that, uh, yeah, I think I just rushed through it, and I, I forgot about the whole thing, I, this is what I don't get, I don't understand how you can get a hit marker f from a sniper, I mean, whether or not I shoot you in the fucking leg or toe, even if I shoot you in your t finger, like your smallest finger, like your, I don't know, your toe or whatever, or your, even your arm, I don't know, you can't get a hit marker, you're supposed to die, because the bullets are so fucking big and massive, and, oh man, like, because so you're also finding, like, they're so powerful, and, I don't know, you're supposed to, like, go flying away, so, oh, look at me right now, I got, see, new true is right there, guys, another tip for you guys, though, don't ever stand behind a, a car unless it's obviously destroyed. By the way, guys, I did not mean to throw that grenade at him. I thought I had a throwing knife. I'm I'm obviously not that dumb <laughs> to throw a grenade and uh, right when he's right in my face, just like that. But um, yeah, back to the main topic. What was I talking about? Um, fuck, I think I forgot. What was I saying? Oh shit! I don't want to mess up this commentary again. No, 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 no. Think, 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 please. Alright, let's see, I'm just going to move on to the next topic. Sniping. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm using the intervention of the thermal sight. And the thermal sight is also way much more better than Black Ops. Now, here's the reason why. I think this one, well, it is actually, it's so much more clearer. And I think it's way much more easier for you to spot your enemies. Because it's kind of like red and then white. But you, you've kind of got that line in the middle. But in Black Ops, it's blue and the white. And it's so confusing. Well, it's not confusing, but it can be really difficult sometimes to uh, spot your enemy and you know uh, aim down on your target. So um, yeah, again, I do prefer this one. Uh, I do think I'm a pretty decent sniper. I want to say I'm good, like amazing. But like I said before, I do. I'd probably say I'm a seven or maybe an eight sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> you guys can give me a judge. Like, like, tell me in the comments below what you think of my sniping. Am I good? Average? Shit? I can I don't I, I don't mind you guys tell me. Uh the RPD is definitely also one of my favourite weapons in Modern Warfare 2. And I've also got some news for you guys that the RPD will definitely be returning uh to uh Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, they're bringing it back. Did I that did that rhyme? <laughs> RPD Modern Warfare 3. Uh yeah. Um anyways, yeah, the RPD is definitely one of my favourite weapons and um I am looking forward to that um making a return. Because it is really cool. Right, machine gun. Yeah. But uh, what else do I want to talk about today? Uh, uh, um, I don't know. And all right, let's uh, let me tell you guys a couple of oh my god facts. Facts, sorry. So, uh, oh yeah, here's a cool one. So uh, this this fact, you guys will will actually need to uh, participate in it. So what I need you to do right now is think of any random number. All right. So have you? Of it. I'm going to give you three seconds. So, uh, three, two, one. Alright, so hopefully you had thought of any random number. It can be between, you know, one and a hundred, but make it simple, make it easy. so it'll be easy for yourself. So, something in between one and ten. Alright, now I want you to multiply that random number by two. I'll give you another three seconds to do that. Now I want you to add six on that number. So, the total, sorry. So your total answer, I want you to right now add 6 on it. Now, if you've done that, I want you to divide your total answer, your final answer, by 2. I'll give you another 3 seconds to do that. Alright, hopefully you've divided your total, your final answer by 2. Now, I want you to, um, after you've divided it by 2, your final answer, I want you to sub subtract it from the original number you've chosen in the beginning. So remember that random number I, I told you guys to think of? Subtract that from your final answer, and your the final answer right now that the total final answer would be three, right? I know I'm right because I, I know I know how to do this. I I could do this like, over and over again with all different kind of numbers. So you can go ahead and choose a different number. But do I have enough time? I don't. All right, I'll do this very quickly. All right. So go ahead and choose another number. All right, any different number this time, obviously. Uh, multiply it by two, and this time I want you to add four on it. Now divide your answer by 2 and then subtract your original number, the one I told you to think of from the beginning, you know, that random number. Subtract that from the total number, the answer, 
and you will come out with two. Am I right? I know I'm right. I know <laughs> I'm just too good. I'm a fucking psychic, guys. I, I know I know what you're thinking in your mind. I can read your mind. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, if you guys do want to know how I do it, uh, I could tell you. Um, uh, all right, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll tell you how to do it. All right. Stop. Stop crying. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, quick reminder guys, Subscriber Sunday w is tomorrow. Uh, so uh, if you do want to be in one of those episodes, well it is going to be the second episode. The first episode went really well, I had a lot of fun. And like I said, I was really looking forward to the next, um, you know, gathering episode, which obviously is tomorrow. So um, yeah guys, make sure you do, uh, if you do want to be in that second episode, make sure you do add me on PSN. You don't have to subscribe to me, all you have to do is just add me on PSN. But I've said this before, I think, like, although it would be nice if you could subscribe and add me on PSN. I mean, I hope I'm not asking for too much here. You don't have to, like I said, though. Uh, it's up to you. But yeah, all you have to do is add me on PSN and make sure, you, obviously, you are online tomorrow at 5pm London time. Alright? 5pm this time, not 6. Because uh, last time, I think, it was a little bit late. And because uh, I, I took too much time to edit the video and everything. But anyways, yeah, that's enough about that. Alright, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh... The final score is 54 and 4 deaths. Yeah, a pretty decent score, like I said. But anyways, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, guys, please like it, comment. And mainly, guys, please do subscribe. It helps out a lot. But anyways, thanks a lot. Uh, this is Black Smurf, and I'm out. See ya. Bye.